talking to Gary Marshall, um, one of the best liked guys in the business. Is there anybody who hates you, by the way? I haven't found anybody. God knows I've looked. <laughs> well, there's people. Can you think I'm of anybody sure. who hates you? Well, uh, who knows? I'm sure they're out there. You never know. I, I've uh, been lucky that I've worked with a lot of uh, people who uh, I learned from and they learned from me, and it's been kind of an exchange. And maybe also, I, you know, when I had my TV shows, I used to give buttons that said, life is more important than show business. Because that is true. That's not a publicist convention. <laughs> no, no, I did give those yeah. buttons because I totally, people would come, they would be so intense, and if you had to let somebody go, or their script didn't work out, we got, they, they would get crazy, and I just didn't think it was worth getting crazy about. It's yeah. not an exact science show mm -hmm. <laughs> so it doesn't always work, and you hope it does. Certainly I try, but sometimes that, uh, maybe, I, maybe they say I was a nice guy because I was always nice to people who had messed up because mm -hmm. I messed up enough, but uh, I don't know. I think successful people could hate me. Who knows? Maybe you knew what it was like to be yelled at by somebody in your past. Or I did know. May or may not want to mention. No, I got yelled at. Well, the com comedians used to yell yeah. quite a bit. When you were in night, if you came from nightclubs, you could take everything. I had one yeah. comedian I, I don't mention, but he actually, I went and handed him my pages of material, two pages, and he took a cigarette lighter and he lit them on fire, the two pages, and he just let them flame into the garbage pail. Mm -hmm. and, and it was like I made a joke. I said, ha ha, a flaming rejection, ha ha. But I went out and I cried. I mean, it was not a comfortable spot. Ooh. I thought the jokes were good. Yeah. But uh, you don't want to put out your own jokes. It's just like... Well, right, yeah, putting your own jokes out. <laughs> it's it's bad a... enough turning them out without having to extinguish but, them. Yeah, too. It, it, after you go through some of that in clubs, seriously, I think when you get into to what is the Hollywood, you don't take it so serious, mm -hmm. people screaming and yelling, it's all. I learned to think, if, in other words, a guy could be yelling in my face and I would still be thinking of the next line. I wouldn't even hear him, I'd say, mm, ah, I got it, uh -huh. know, like that. That's. Uh, I don't think they train them that way anymore. I don't know, I think that, that training was invaluable. <laughs> but that, that cigarette lighter story is a brutal one. No, that's one. true, that's yeah. true. Um, did you spend time afterwards thinking of any number of things you could have said? Like, maybe you'd like to see how funny you and your lighter are without any of us writers, you know? I mean, uh, it's just, uh, how did the, the contempt for writers, I think, in, among certain cheesy comics, like the one you probably mentioned, uh, has to do with the fact that they know they do depend on you and they resent it, I yes. suppose. I don't know. If well, I, I must say that was my true feeling. I went back and I, I you know, as naive as I was, I was, was thinking, why did he do that? He truly needed those jokes. He's yeah. bombing out there. Why would he <laughs> throw away what he needs? I don't understand this behavior. Yeah. And, uh, I, I really was, wasn't even one of anger. as just confusion of what human beings do to themselves. Now the truth. If you run into him today... You know, there, uh, certainly at some point around that incident, you probably thought, someday if I'll be in a position to be able to tell that guy, remember that, beat it. I, I thought about that, but I did run into him. I actually ran into him recently. Yeah. And, uh, he was, like, not doing well, and uh, mm -hmm. I think that was enough. I don't know anybody who's ever really followed through on yeah. that desire to skewer somebody later. You just, uh, Revenge is... I once did that in the Army. I had a captain in the Army who was... I was in Korea. I was writing jokes and doing an act to get out, and he said, you'll never get out of here. You're not going home early. You'll be in Korea. You'll fall. And I got out. We won a contest. I got out. And I came and did the same. Like you're saying, showed up with my orders. Private Marshal reporting. So here's my orders to get out of Korea. And I was waiting. You know, this was the big thing. Mm. And I swear, he started to tear up. He started to get tear. He says, oh. I wish I was going with you. He says, I hated it too. So and he ruined the it? moment for Totally you. killed the moment. <laughs> and then I said, that's it. Revenge is boring. I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah, there's other things that he... <laughs> no, so you got no ulcers then you don't you don't, you don't to show the toll of all of these years and well i sure it's uh, it's yeah. just been hard uh, jobs but again i'm i'm a corny guy what can i tell you i would work very hard get to get to here with get about to get an ulcer and i would go home and my wife and three kids they didn't care much about the whole thing kids uh, they don't really understand business they go on they got their own agenda so it kind of kind of mm. i think that's the only thing that really kept me in balance and and sport and stuff. I always played ball. I mean, I, I had top shows and and two ground balls would go through my legs in softball and I'd be depressed. That was your tragedy. <laughs> that was the tragedy. <laughs> I still can't get down. Yeah. I'll be back right after this.